This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yeah, we should be able to reach Chesmokosha. We have six kilometers left on GOM and three kilometers to go. Yeah, that's fine, right? We don't have any crazy elevation from this point on. We just have to take it easy. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! But I have turtle mode and the speed is severely reduced now. Okay, this was a bad idea. What? Turtle mode occurs at 6%. And I'm limited to around 80 kilometers per hour only. Oh, shit. Yo, what's up? We have yet another eagle we're going to do a degradation test of. So I start seeing a trend here where the, the souls I've tested, they have somewhat high degradation versus the eagles. But this is the highest mileage, or the highest odometer on the Eagle. We're going to test so far. It has done 160,000 kilometers. It's from 2015, so that means seven years old. So let's see then how much degradation do we have here. So we've been charging to 100%. I have to set up something I'm going to show you here. Okay. This one is more traditional Eagle, black interior. Oh, yeah. And let's see now, is it still charging? Oh, it looks like it. If it's green, it should be charging. So this time around, I managed to plug in the OBD there. And then I have, oh, I heard a little click there. Oh, I think it finished. Yeah. It was saying five minutes left, but now it finished. So we have some stats here. Um, well, actually it's not updated. I have to fire up the car. And look here. Oh. Turn it off again. 160,000 kilometers. <laughs> that is proper distance. And then let's see. If I quickly fire up the car with HVAC off, I can show you here that I tried to pull out some values that make sense. So this is supposedly the, what did I see me? Just there, yeah. This is supposedly the displayed state of charge. And then this is the real state of charge. And I didn't get any kilowatt input output. But at least we have now the voltage here, supposedly, and then battery, huh, what? Okay, and then this is supposedly power limit, 95 uh, kilowatt, 96, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, and then voltage on the min and the max cells, and uh, this is outside temperature, I couldn't find anything else, and supposedly we have battery temperature also, right? We're gonna check it out once we start charging the car. And I think, uh, yeah, stator, and this is what, the car claims that it has huh, 17.4 kilowatt hour left. Well, okay, let's not uh, stand here too long uh, because we are actually pulling a few hundred, uh, maybe, I don't know, 100 watts while the car is on. Let me turn off the car. Wait, is it off now? Wait, 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 wait. now it started charging. Okay, it says charging duration in five minutes, all right? We're gonna wait a little bit until it finishes and then off we go. All right, it finished charging to 100% now. Oh yes, okay, let's go. We are on the move now. So um, yes, let me see, look at the values here. Yeah, so this is again the displayed state of charge. Well, but that we don't see anywhere, but it's very nice to have it. And then this is the real state of charge. So you see, there is a top buffer around 5%, five and a, well, how much is this? Five and a half percent, really. Um, voltage on the pack. Yeah, you see this, okay. So we don't see anything here. But at least we see that we are uh, discharging. Um, and then what else is it? Yeah, the, the, the cell voltages are also dropping. This is outer temperature. This is, yeah, it corresponds with the, the car's display, this one. And then here we have the battery temperature. I guess it will start rising slowly. Yeah. And then here is a stator. So we have at least some information we can look at here. But this one being the most important one, but also this one towards the end, we'll see. So I cruise at 90 kilometers per hour as usual. Uh, it's not strictly a 90 test, this one. It's most, uh, the reason why I drive kind of slow is uh, so I don't have too high discharge current here uh, because then you will have more losses and we are trying to measure the battery uh, in the best way. So, so as usual, we will just drive north. Wait, this guy is driving kind of slow, All right? Let's uh, overtake. Drive north a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure how far I need to drive. Probably um, Nepenes, right? Or somewhere there. 
so uh, as usual, I navigated to uh, back to the starting point, kind of, to a fast charger. And then we just have to turn around when we have around 55%, right? We are passing by Dahl. Here's where the Ionity chargers are. And so, okay. So, uh, not any range test nowadays. But you see, so this is the way I figure out how far I need to drive. Uh, we look at GOM here, 85 kilometers of range left, and then I navigate it back to the starting point. It shows up there, 48 kilometers away, so we can keep driving. And right now, wow, the consumption is 149 watt per kilometer. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty on par with the other cars. Well, uh, we have to check. I don't remember which kind of tires we have and rims we have here. Well, okay, so let's just keep driving a little bit more. Uh, and then we turn around. Where is that? Uh, Norwegian? Yeah, that's a Norwegian uh, airplane. Seems like the airplanes, they are uh, flying uh, more or less as uh, regular now. We are now at Minnesun and we're going to turn around. We have 53% state of charge. And yeah, I found the value here, you see? Uh, it's not the, the state or frequency copy, but there is some kind of weird uh, error maybe in the app. But at least that one shows power. So you see we are regening now. Okay, and then, yeah. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can get back now. Let me check here. So we are six, we have 62 kilometers on GOM and we are 51 kilometers away from the fast charger. We can always bail out before, but uh, yes, I want to try that Evany charger because it will show you some nice charging graph. But okay, so let me see. Uh, let me just get to where. Yeah. <coughs> okay, let me see. Let me uh, set cruise control. Oh wait, I have to accelerate a little bit. I have to get in front of a truck. Oh no, seven is on. Okay, barely legal. But all right. Um, I have to cruise at 94 or 95 to match 90-ish, but okay. So you see the battery has gone up a little bit since last time. Uh, the temperature and the stator is just resting there. But you know, this car has, I was about to say it has no thermal management, but it ha needs to have some thermal management. But at least the battery has no thermal management. So no active cooling or heating. Wait, does it have heating? Uh, actually, I'm not sure. But the one interesting thing is that this one here, it was 17.3 kilowatt hour. Now it has dropped. Well, did it de degrade that much during this trip? <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I think maybe it just depends on uh, some factors. Maybe, uh, I don't know, voltage, uh, temperature in the pack. Well, actually, it should be better even now that the battery heats up. So. Yeah, I'm actually not sure, but um, we will see about the voltage here also, how low it will go. Yeah, we will see. All right, so we just got a little warning about low battery, and we're down to around 24% right now. And if we look here, um, the power limit starts dropping. Well, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, it slowly drops now. So um, I guess we're getting uh, semi close to the end, but um, hmm, right now uh, I have 23 kilometers on GOM and 22 kilometers to the destination. So maybe I have to bail out earlier because uh, we have headwind right now. Yes, yeah, the wind is blowing from the south. So that's kind of tricky. Hmm. Let's see then. Right, uh, we have so much traffic now. I'm cruising semi slow, so I decided to just drive behind this truck uh, and also want to have enough margin uh, to make it there. But uh, yeah, not much going on. Uh, the power limit hasn't dropped that much yet. I guess eventually we will see another warning, maybe at 10%. But yeah, that's just probably why you see so many e-golfs drafting behind trucks because the old e-golfs, they don't have much range. We've been driving uh, for how long now? An hour? What's distance? 94 kilometers and we have, well, we have 15 kilometers left on GOM. Ha! Huh? And we haven't driven that fast. <laughs> okay, this truck is mine. I'm going to be drafting behind it all the way. Wait, wait, wait. It says there, P&O behind you all the way. Yes, that's right. I'm going all the way behind you, buddy. <laughs> right, we're almost done now. Look at the power limit here. It drops like a rock. And also at 10%, we got the last warning. Now HVAC is off. I, I might as well, well, I mean, the heater is off. It tries to conserve energy. I thought about bailing out here, but I will keep going. 
yeah, we should be able to reach Chesmo Kosha. We have six kilometers left on GOM and three kilometers to go. Yeah, that's fine, right? We don't have any crazy elevation from this point on. We just have to take it easy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! Ah! But I have turtle mode and the speed is severely reduced now. Okay, that was a bad idea. What? Turtle mode occurs at 6%. And I'm limited to around 80 kilometers per hour only. Oh, shit. I get this is the problem with old cars. Because I don't think you get turtle mode uh, that early on uh, a car that is not that old. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, all right. Let's hope that the truckers behind me don't get too pissed. <laughs> but I guess it's a good thing that we have turtle mode because the car just has to make sure that we can get to the destination without running out of juice. Uh oh, uh oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, well, okay. Driver alert, don't scare me, shit. Come on, get over there, get over there. This is the scariest shit ever. We are doing 80 kilometers per hour on the speed though. And we have 20 kilowatt power limit. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Yes, we did some elevation. Holy macaroni, this went fast. We have two kilometers on gum. And we are about one kilometer away. Wow, that, that gum dropped fast. Okay, okay, let's take it easy here. No crazy power output. <sighs> Damn, that was crazy. Okay, okay, let me see. I have to go straight here. You see, we have some Evini chargers. Uh, oh, the brake! Oh no, 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 no! Can I, can I get moving? Okay, 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 okay. It's not that sluggish, actually. I mean, the it, it feels slow on the motorway, but here you can have okay driving speeds. Wait, so, wait. It means that can you actually use the remaining four percent? And the car is almost undrivable now, at least on the motorway. Uh, well, I guess. Oh, okay. One kilometer left on gum. Oh yeah. The chargers. Okay, let me see. Charge port is on the right side. There is a wrong side. Should have been the left side. With the right side. Um, not the backup. Okay, I can take this one. Well, I. Oh yeah, we're charging now. Huh? Two percent. What? The charger reports two percent. Huh? Interesting. And then this one report, okay, the, the values are not updated until we start the engine. <laughs> well, okay. Um, hmm. So was it 2% or was it 4.5%? Uh, I might just go by 2% because that sounds more plausible than this one. Yeah, all right. But um, now we're getting, uh, huh, what? No, this, is, this doesn't make sense. We're not getting 30. We're charging at... Uh, 10 kilowatt or whatever. I'm gonna check the app. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna show something here. You see, the car estimates it will take 35 minutes to charge to 100%, I guess. But uh, as many people pointed out, this car does have a charge uh, limit. If you go here, you see lower battery charge limit and then it's set to 100%. So, what if I push the slider now? Let me see. Wait, wait, okay. If I slide it down, okay, let me see here. Uh, 90%, if I want to charge, let's say 50%. Parking mode enabled. Uh, oh, 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 okay, it's the dash cam. Wait, it doesn't change anything, okay. You know, I, I'll just set it to, uh, I'm not sure what this one does. I mean, it looks like charge limit, let, let, right? Let's set it to 90%. Wait, is it set now? How, how can I see? Okay, seems to be 90%. All right, all right, all right, all right good, all right, good. Okay, and now let's uh, calculate some stuff. You see, this is pretty nice. This is the Bielkraft app. Uh, it used to be BKK, and now it's Evini, and then the app is called, yeah, a different name, I don't know why, but anyway, you can see here, charging speed, 43 kilowatt. A lot of stats here, also 67%. Okay, the EL, this is just, you have to add the car to the profile, so it doesn't matter really. But uh, you see, this is then done via the, the charge point operators back end 
but uh, cam power also has similar feature but then the cam power is then done in the charging hardware and then so there's the yeah but the delta chargers that we are using here they don't have this this is just something they don't have this feature the delta chargers uh for looking at the app and okay and let me show you here also uh yeah, this number doesn't make any sense uh yeah, yeah, yeah look here the temperature and the battery is rising slowly huh you know, it would be interesting to do a, a 1000 kilometer challenge with this tiny battery. <laughs> no, that would be freaking pain. I mean, you saw how slow I was driving. Okay, the average speed goes up now, but uh, I mean, it goes down. But uh, uh, if I would do 1000 kilometer challenge, I have to drive semi slow and I would drive, let's say, uh, 50 to 70 kilometers between each charge. And then I need to charge for 45 minutes. So that's going to take freaking forever. So let's not let's not do that. <laughs> All right, there you go. At 78%, or I'm not sure if it was 77 or 78%, it starts dropping. But anyway, so the exact distance we drove today was 106.8 kilometers and uh, with 150 watt uh, per kilometer. Uh, and then I guess we will use 2% as the remaining. I'm not sure if people agree, but I'm not sure if we will get 4.5% left. But okay, uh, that equals to 16.3 kilowatt hour. And then um, uh, that means 19% degradation. So uh, compared to the other result, it actually makes sense. Let me see now, I'm gonna bring up the big spreadsheet here. So well, now we start seeing a trend that, um, I guess age or the battery doesn't count that much. It boils down to distance or number of cycles, which makes sense, aging, Okay, aging kind of kills the battery slowly, but not that, not that much. It's actually discharging. And then it could also seem like fast charging doesn't kill it that much. Actually, we don't know yet. Um, because this owner has been charging mostly to 100% on AC at home. It hasn't fast charged that much. So, uh, well, uh, how was it again? Uh, no, actually, maybe it was mostly like that, but then for the last six months, yes, uh, the owner's daughter has been using it, and I think she's been fast charging it more often because she doesn't have uh, home charging or something like that. So, yeah, but uh, I guess the majority of the age of this battery or the, the, the t lifetime of this battery has been done on home AC charging, uh, but then charged to 100%, which seems to be 95%, maybe. I'm not sure. The real still charge. But, okay, what is interesting is that despite so high mileage and somewhat old car, then even this one, the Eagle, has lower degradation than Soul. Pretty much most, so if you start matching, we don't even have a soul with that high mileage yet, but uh, from what we've seen so far in the past few tests now, it could seem like the Eagle has lower degradation than soul, hmm? which means that eventually uh, the, the, the Eagle will be better than soul. Uh, yeah, we will have more capacity, but uh, well, yeah, something like that. So, but of course, initially the soul had bigger battery, and that's why it can still drive longer. You can see on the, my test that I drive more than a lot, about 100 kilometers. It, usually the soles, they go 120 kilometers, whereas these ones, at least this one goes barely 100-ish kilometers. But okay, so um, there will be more tests coming. I have an Ionic with 150,000 kilometers, classic Ionic coming soon. Uh, and then us for other cars. Hmm. Yeah, some people uh, suggest some Tesla, but if a Tesla has only 100,000 kilometers, that, that's not too interesting. We want to see Teslas with, uh, with let's say, 300, 400,000 kilometers on the battery. And then some old Teslas, they also had the batteries replaced. But uh, yes, so now you guys have seen it. Uh, a proper long mileage uh, e-golf. And I have to say, the e-golf holds it up quite good. Yeah. Impressive, really. <laughs> Impressive compared to the Korean cars, right? Hmm. Okay, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.